Valhalla gearing up to host the PGA Championship for the fourth time. Ryan Ogle is the championship director overseeing everything that's happening here in Louisville at Valhalla. Thank you for taking the time, first of all, because we know you're a busy man right now buttoning down all the details. First of all, this is incredible out here. A beautiful transformation of the grounds. Um, what goes into planning an event like this? You know, it's about a 30 to 36 month process. Oh so we started in earnest in about 2021. Um, we've put a lot of time and energy, the host community, the host club has put a lot of time and energy. We've uh, broken all sorts of records. This is the largest scale PGA Championship we've ever had. So we're incredibly excited about this week. Um, we're thankful to have this opportunity and shaping up to be a, an awesome week here in Louisville. Why did the PGA want to come back again? You were here in 2014, so excited to have you back. What was so alluring about Valhalla and welcoming here in the community? Well, we have a storied history here in Louisville. Since 1996, our first PGA Championship. As you mentioned, it's the fourth time we're hosting, but it's the seventh time we've had a spectator event here with the Ryder Cup and our senior PGAs. Louisville is a great host community and Valhalla is a great championship course. Mm -hmm. It starts with the golf course. Test the best players in the world that does that. Second, can you get the support you need? And we've seen that from the corporate community, tickets, volunteers, and then you know what is the infrastructure needs? Valhalla checks all those boxes. So we've done everything possible to host an incredible event. Every time we're here, Valhalla steps up, Louisville steps up, Kentuckyana steps up, and yet again, they've done it. You're looking at, what, 200,000 people yes. over a course of seven days coming to this event. How do you go about making sure that it's fun for everybody here, but also safe? Yeah, I mean, the guest experience is something we think about for a long time. Uh, from the moment they get in their car, the parking, the experience to get to the golf course when you're here. Uh, the thing we're most excited about is our tickets now are food inclusive. So they include food and non-alcoholic beverage. So the customer experience of not having to get your wallet out every time, you go to a concession, grab what you need, um, it, it's, it's something we love to do. We have more fan activations, things where they can get a PGA professional giving coaching tips on their swings. They can come check out things with our partners. Um, we really try to make sure it's a great experience. And oh, by the way, you can watch the strongest field and the best players in the world competing on an amazing setting. Incredible players. You have what PGA champion Kepta coming back, Tiger Woods. We're all excited to see, of course, Justin Thomas. Who are you excited to see? I'm excited to see Tiger. I'm a big uh -huh. Tiger fan. Uh, Rory, who won here in 2014, you know, he hasn't won in 10 years. Could this be the chance? You know, he kind of comes back to his glory of major championship golf. Uh, but the local, local favorite, JT, I know is yeah. going to get a lot of excitement. When you are putting something, when, when you are planning an event like this, how have things changed from the last time the PGA planned this event here? And in general, because it just feels like, I mean, just even looking around, you keep saying the word experience. It is a different experience these days to go and watch a golf tournament. Yeah, the scale first and foremost is the biggest change. We're over 700,000 square feet of temporary flooring, over 285 tents are on property. It's double what we had in 2014, so that's the biggest. Secondary, the food inclusion program. Operationally, you got to put in some extra um, pro protocols and procedures to manage that. Uh, over 200,000 people can go grab a burger anytime they want. There's planning involved. The broadcast has gotten much bigger. Over 150 cameras will be on site, three different fly cams overlooking the best parts of the property, drones. Um, so there's been some nuance. There's been improvements in technology that allow us to create a better experience. Um, but with that, it's higher expectations. Yeah. And we're set to meet those. So Thursday through Sunday are sold out, but there's still some opportunities to get tickets for that. Yeah, our practice round tickets remain available. The secondary market, which is officially on SeatGeek, our ticket provider, um, you can see Thursday through Sunday tickets that people, their plans have changed. Purchase them, come and join us. It's the same tip tickets we can verify on SeatGeek that those are actual championship tickets. I encourage everyone to go to pgachampionship.com. I'll tell you, you can't beat those all-inclusive tickets though. That's the way to go. How do you get your hands on those? All of our tickets are all-inclusive. And then with every ticketed adult, a junior, age 15 and under, can get in the gates for free. So a family of four can buy two tickets, bring their kids out, food and drink are included. It's a great day, maybe buy a t-shirt or two in the merch shop. Now you mentioned too, this has kind of been one for the record books. You're seeing a lot of interest and support, and especially support from the Commonwealth of Kentucky for this event. Yeah, I mean, the Commonwealth always steps up, um, starting at the governor's cabinet to, uh, you know, all the way down to KYTC, who's been a partner of ours in the trip, the traffic planning and LMPD. Um, we're so thankful to them um, for yet again opening their doors to do it right on the heels of the 150th Derby. What a celebration in the area. We're thrilled to be a part of it and quite honored that we can help amplify the impact the championship will have. All right, thank you for the time. Thanks for having Thanks so me. so much. All right, to get those tickets, just go to PGAChampionship.com.